Hello, Anket. How are you? Hi, Sid. How are you? Good, good, Sid. And yourself? Good. How are you going? Good, good. I am doing pretty much great. Yeah. Okay, good, good. How's the heat wave now? Has it got better? Yeah. Um. So we had a weekend game. So now I'm playing for the Premier League for the Manitoba. That is one of the top most leagues. I just got my selection done last two last week, which I wasn't expecting at all. But yeah, but uh, but the selection committee saw my hard work, which I have put in, and they showed the trust in me, and I got the premier slot. So I'm pretty much happy for that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. So, good to hear. Good to hear. I have your video already here, which you sent me via WhatsApp. And yes. we'll have a look at that video as well, and we'll go over your technique. I'll start, stop, start, stop the video, and we'll go through it step by step. I have already seen the video, so okay, I, I already have in my mind uh, the things which I feel like you can work on. Let's have a look at your your uh, bowling action. Are, we, are you able to see that? Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to make it in um, full screen. Yeah. So we can have a look at it um, a little properly, and and you can see that, right? Yeah, I can. My initial thoughts were that you have your basics right. In terms of a spinner's accuracy. Yeah. And a spinner's consistency. What I think it comes from consistent run up and a consistent point of release. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. So consistent run up means that you take the exact same run up every time, the yes. same uh, or or very similar angle that you yeah. come in, and very similar point of release in the air. Right, height as well as the uh, distance from the umpire or distance from the stump. When I was watching your the six or seven balls that you have sent here, I found that there were sometimes your release was a bit further from the center, which you have put. You have put two yeah. cones here, right? Yeah. These two cones, I'm guessing, is the crease and the stump. Um, the umpire. Um. Yeah. 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 The crease and the stump. Yes. The crease and the stump. So, what I notice is that sometimes you release from a little bit closer. Sometimes you release from a little bit further, and yeah. also your run up. Sometimes it starts a little bit straighter. Sometimes it's yeah. a little bit wider. Wider, yeah. So, yes. so that consistent starting point and the consistent release point is missing it's not exactly the same right which i think is very important to have consistency in your in your bowling in your uh, uh you can say that it's directly related to the accuracy right okay yeah so that's very important so that would be the first thing that i would suggest for you to work on the first ball you have started from here Okay, and you have released from here. Okay. You have released from here. Yeah? Can you see those marks, see? Yes, I can. Yes. Now you see here, the Wait, second ball. Sorry, the second ball, you are out of the screen almost. Yes. So you have started from outside the screen. Which is somewhere here, somewhere here, mm -hmm. and let's uh, play the video. The camera has also shifted a little bit, but if we just go back to the point of release, it's here. Yeah. So that's a big difference. Yeah. That's a big, big difference. Big. And you won't get your accuracy doing this. So that would be the first thing that you have to change. 
reason why I'm coming a bit wider is to impact more spin so that I can spin the ball from the fifth stump, sorry, from the fourth stump to the third stump to the off stump. Fair That's enough. why means I'm coming. Behind you. Yeah. Fair enough. Hundred percent. I agree with that. So when you're practicing, when when you tell me that my issue is accuracy, right? Then I would tell you that the solution is to be consistent with your starting point and the release point. Sure. Okay. Once you get your hang on accuracy, once you once you are confident that okay now every ball is going in the area I wanted to go, that right. could be a little bit outside off, that could be um, it could be on the off stump, it could be a little bit fuller, a little bit shorter, but it's going where I wanted to go. Right. Then you can start to play around with the your release point and your starting point. Okay. Gotcha. So once you have your accuracy sorted out, then you can start okay. doing that. But now, when you're just practicing here, I can see that you're practicing yeah. with your friends, um, yeah. and you're you're working on that accuracy. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the initial stages, you're still you, uh, you well. I, I wouldn't say you are in your beginner stages, but I would say yeah. that you're in your initial stages of um, getting better or pushing yourself yeah. to the next stage or next level. What I would suggest, or what drill I would do, if I if if you were here in Australia, and I was working with you, um, is I would probably, um, I would probably have a cone. I would probably put a cone somewhere here. Yeah. And I would say that's it. Start from this exact point, and yeah. and then I would probably have maybe a uh, a kind of a pole here. Yeah. Um, and a kind of a pole here, and I would say that's it. This is where you need to go through. Yes. You need to go through this so that your starting point is exactly the same, and your finishing point or your release point is as close exactly. to consistent as possible. Okay. And gotcha. And that way you're going through the exact same point again and again. Right. Go through the second, the second thing that I saw. And that's all. These are the only two things which I picked up, which would be a little bit urgent to fix. Do you feel like your ball is not turning as much as you want, or you are you, yeah. are you happy with your turn? No, I want the ball to turn more. <laughs> For a spinner to get additional spin, very important is the rotation of the hips. Right. So your your wrist spin or your finger spin is also there, but yeah. a rotation of the hips like this. Yes. Yeah. Does that make sense? This one, what I'm doing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So more of yeah. a, like this, like this spin. Yeah. The hips are turning, and yeah. one sign for me when I look at a spinner, uh, are the hips turning or not? I can see from the toes, the front foot. Right. The toe. Right. So. Right. If if you see you can see the screen still, yes. Yeah. So right now you've landed your front foot, and your front foot is pointing straight towards the batsman, which is excellent. Yeah. Superb. Now I'll just move it to the next frame. Okay. Now you've released the ball. Okay. Front foot is still pointing uh, kind of straightish. There was a little bit of a turn of a rotation, a twist, which is fine. But at this point, yeah. once you've released it, at this point, your toe is pointing somewhere around here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe a little bit straighter, actually. Um, but it should be more towards, you can say, square leg. Yeah. More towards square leg, um, uh, especially when you're doing your practice, which is in this situation. This is like... You're square leg means like this. Sorry. Um, so it'll be more towards the covers, right? For a uh, yeah. batsman. Yeah. yeah. For a yeah. batsman, it'll be more towards covers. Yes. So okay. cover okay. fielder is somewhere around here. So it'll be more towards covers. Or you can say point cover. If point is somewhere okay. here, point is somewhere here, somewhere in the middle, point cover. You are looking to exaggerate your action. Right. Or exaggerate the twist when you're in your training. Right. So really get a big twist in your foot. Yeah. Maybe I should look in the camera somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Your foot needs to go more here. 
Okay. Towards covers. And Towards you get that full twist. Twist. Okay. Is it making sense or is this uh, not? Yes, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, yeah definitely, it okay. is making sense. Yeah. So you can see this one. See? Yeah. Yes. So here. Now he's landed his foot. His foot's pointing yeah. straight. Okay. Uh, and now I'll take it to the next frame. Big twist. Yeah. Yes. Big twist in his front foot. Yeah. Yes. Uh, almost 90 degrees, you can say. Maybe not so much. It's gone from straight to, you can say, about another, another 60 degrees, 45 to yes. 60 degrees. And that kind of twist you do need to twist your hips, which will then give you that additional turn in your ball. Uh, line and length, you just get your run up and release point consistent and you'll get your line and length more consistent in terms of more spin to deceive the yes. batsman. Yes, a little yes. bit of flight, but also get yes. that twist in your body. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I think it was a very good session by you, Anket. I think, um, I think the videos, what your academy has, um, definitely. So now you can see it's, it's reach coming way up in the north of the world. And mm -hmm. I hope that you will be getting more views. And as a person to the time when I have spoken with you on messages or on emails or on phone so you have been great you are a great mentor and i wish like i can get a chance to play with you very soon coming down um in australia thank you so much for that um, in-depth video thing and i think it feels good about it and i wish you, you and your students best of luck and i thank think you. that they will prosper under your guidance